Hey guys, it's Jeff, and uh, to be honest, I thought the official version of iOS 12.3 was coming to our iDevices today, but apparently Apple has other plans. So today, beta 5 is coming out for iOS 12.3, and with all of the other betas not really uh, containing anything new or any major changes, I can't really see what this beta version is going to bring us, but you guys asked me, hey, do an update even if it's on the smallest little thing. So uh, here is iOS 12.3 beta 5. Let's go ahead and get it installed onto our iDevice here and check out what's new. This video was sponsored by our friends at MacPaw, the creators of Clean My Mac X. This program will clean up, protect, and speed up your Mac without any hassle whatsoever. If you want a free download of this program on us, click the link down below. Okay, so we have iOS 12.3 beta 5 loaded up onto our device here. And as you may have seen, uh, we did get only a 90 uh, megabyte update here, and that is pretty low for a full uh, beta version here. The build number is 16F5155A. And as I said, that, that uh, update size was really low. Now, if we go down to modem firmware, that was updated in the last beta version. So it's now 1.05.0. Three. That is the latest modem firmware. And uh, with that update, we did see a lot of people complaining a little bit less about, uh, you know, dropping calls and having problems with LTE and uh, all that jazz. So uh, yeah, it, that has slightly improved, but I know that there are still users out there that are having issues. Now, if we go and check out any wallpapers, nothing new. I was expecting to see something in iOS 12.2 and at the very least 12.3, but still nothing. It looks like we're not going to get any more wallpapers here. And if we just go out through iOS, again, as, you know, as we saw in the previous betas, there's really nothing new here. Um, what I did find is that in the app Apple TV app, uh, there is a little bit better uh, kind of integration of AI here. So it's predicting uh, what I want to watch just a little bit better. So that's really nice to see. And the layout is just continuing to get a little bit better within the Apple TV app. If you haven't checked this out already, you know, get the beta, uh, to get the public beta and check out the Apple TV app. It really is, uh, you know, really good. And I would recommend going ahead and checking that out. Now, as far as like speed and performance goes, there really wasn't anything new to talk about. Uh, the CPU, we saw uh, 4818 in uh, beta 4. I didn't really review these numbers because I didn't do an update. There was really nothing new in the last beta. Um, but now I'll just kind of update you on that. And we saw 11,533. And if we go into uh, what we see now in beta 5, we're actually seeing a slight decline on both of these numbers. And uh, yeah. That is, you know, nothing really new there. Not really a major change, but in, uh, you know, the CPU, um, that's not really, you know, going to be major. Now the GPU, we saw a 22,114 in beta four, and then a 22,371 in beta five now. And that's not really that significant here, but we do see a slight increase and that just kind of touts more stability, more performance coming out of iOS 12.3 beta 5. Now, why was this update was like, why was it released? Um, you know, we were expecting to see the official version coming really soon here. Um, you know, as I explained in my last video, we are going to see a lot more stability here, a lot more performance driven, um, you know, focus. And that is simply because we are nearing iOS 13 within the next month. Uh, you know, we're seeing here June 2nd or June I believe third it is, is WWDC 2019. On this date, uh, we are seeing, you know, iOS 13 beta one. So we have to kind of wrap up iOS 12.3 and, uh, you know, get all the betas out, make sure it's as stable as possible to ensure that, you know, the focus can go on to iOS 13. Now, one thing that I did want to show you guys, uh, this is a problem that I've noticed within uh, iOS 12.3 now. You can see that we have the air quality index at 29 here at the bottom right hand corner. And if we kind of zoom out, um, you know, kind of go over to the Los Angeles area where it should be a little bit different, we can see that it, the air quality index is 30 here. Now, if we just go and, you know, go within not a zoomed out, you know, kind of mode there, the air quality index stays the same. We have to actually zoom out completely, wait until it goes away, and then hope that it actually comes back.
Now we're not really seeing it come back. Sometimes you saw just before it did come back, but so far, um, you know, this bug has not been fixed and it has been there for quite a while. So unfortunately you will have to deal with that if you, you know, have any um, air quality concerns, but you know, to be honest, for the most part, that's not really a concern to me. So I don't really um, notice it. Now, other than that, no other changes. I noticed that, um, you know, we did see a lot better performance coming in, uh, you know, 3D touch. So that's really exciting to see um, for those of you who actually use that. But other than that, no new changes whatsoever. Um, I, you know, checked everything. I didn't really find much to share with you guys. Um, one thing that I did notice is when you go into messages, uh, let's go ahead and you'll know, create a message for myself here. So when you go to edit your Memoji, not Animoji, Memoji, uh, the options here are really kind of expanding. Um, you know, they add it very silently. So go ahead and check out all of these options. There are definitely quite a few more women's options. Of course, I don't use those, but for all of you women, um, you can go ahead and check those out. And there also is a few new men's options as well. So go ahead, check out the additions to Memoji. I noticed that these have been kind of flowing in in the past couple of betas here. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot more Memoji options options. But other than that, guys, uh, no other changes to report back on. Um, you know, stability and performance are really good. Um, you know, I have really nothing major to talk about there. Um, but I do want to share with you a little bit to, uh, of information on battery life. Uh, since we updated the device, um, you know, when the update came in and was all installed, we actually had 94%. And just in using the phone uh, since like 1030, uh, you know, 1028, 1030 ish, just in the last 10 minutes, the percentage has gone down quite significantly. So I'm not exactly sure if you know the phone is indexing or we have any problems there, but I just noticed that very quickly here, the battery life has gone down quite a bit. Um, so just keep that in mind. I really haven't noticed an issue with battery life. If we go to the 10 day view here, you can see that battery life is actually doing really well compared to our performance and activity. So, um, you know, I don't really have any problem with battery life. I just noticed that it was draining really quickly just now. So uh, just keep an eye on that. But as far as anything else goes, I think we're very close to an official release here. And I really hope that, um, you know, we see that coming really soon here uh, before iOS 13. I predict that we might be seeing an official release uh, this week or even early next week. So guys, that was iOS 12.3 beta 5. Uh, it has definitely been an interesting series of events with iOS 12.3. We had definitely been hoping for a lot, but haven't really gotten anything. And I'd love to know your thoughts or comments uh, in the comment section down below on this beta process so far. So make sure to go ahead and write those and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you guys want to get onto the iOS 12.3 betas, a lot of you guys have been asking how you do that, go to beta.apple.com. Apple will give you direct access to the public beta, which should be coming out uh, like a day after the developer beta or even at the same time. It just depends on what Apple is doing at the time. Also, if you want to join our Discord server where we discuss iOS 12, iOS 13 betas and all that, uh, you can go ahead and check the link down below and you can join our Discord server. I think there's like 1400 members or something like that. It's insane. So I'd love to see you guys over there and you can talk to me or any of the mods uh, directly and you don't have to wait for like the YouTube comment thing and all that. So yeah, I'd love to see you over there. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching this video. If you want to stay up to date on any update videos or any of our content, make sure to go ahead and get subscribed. And also very importantly, hit the bell button to get updates as soon as that content is released. Again, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in some upcoming content. Peace.